head coach of the Griswold Girls with us after a, a pretty exciting back and forth overtime win. That was uh, tight most of the way through, and you guys pull away at the end. What can you say about the victory? Well, uh, it wasn't one of our better shooting nights. Uh, we were a little bit tentative. We went out and, and ran the floor well, I thought, but they got back well. We'll give East Mills a lot of credit. You know, they uh, got back defensively really well, so we didn't get many fast break opportunities. Now, late in the game, we got a couple seals up on top, and Brittany Beebe got down for fast break baskets. But, uh, yeah, defensively uh, kind of carried us the game. Uh, we we try to kind of hang our hat on our defense. Uh, you know, I thought about switching defense. Like we stayed to 2-3 the whole ball game. But we went out and put a little more pressure on them late in the game. Uh, but I was real proud of the kids, you know, being down. Uh, I believe it was two points with a minute and 18 or something like that left. Uh, you know, they didn't panic. You know, we were down and got the, got it tied up and, and had a chance late, you know, uh, to maybe get a basket and, and uh, win it at the end of regulation. But, you know, things didn't go according to plan there. But they came out in the overtime period and, and, and uh, Executed pretty well for the most part. Like I said, Brittany Beebe got some steals in that overtime period and, and was able to knock down some free throws. So, yeah, it was a hard-fought victory. It got kind of physical out there, but, you know, it was, it's, uh, was called both ways. Not